Switching now to a Fox Alert, a stolen car pursuit southbound on the 605 off of the 5. Now, we don't have a lot of details yet from the highway patrol in that this is, um, as you might expect, a suspected stolen vehicle. Kevin Takumi over the scene. He has more for us tonight. Kevin? Yes, sir. This all started about 20 minutes ago, possibly with Buena Park uh, Police Department uh, first seeing this reported uh, stolen vehicle here. The pursuit went eastbound on the 91 freeway through Anaheim and got into kind of the Anaheim Hills area, then got off of the 91 at Imperial and then looped back around and came westbound on the 91, uh, then started 91 to the 5 freeway, but still southbound on the, and then came uh, up the 5 freeway and then down to the 605. Now we're on the 605 southbound. We're getting off of the freeway here. We're getting off at Alondra. The vehicle is still being pursued by uh, the police department. CHP has not gotten involved in this yet through this entire pursuit as it, it did get on the freeways. Now we're coming up to the bottom of the off-ramp of Alondra here and now going westbound on Alondra. But this is still police department units that are in uh, pursuit of this reported stolen vehicle here. It, uh, CHP did not get involved. They had them standing by if it went north up the 5 into the Commerce or East LA area, but then he turned south on the 605. Traffic is still uh, kind of moderate in the area here. You can see speeds on the freeways got up to about 70 to 90 miles an hour. Uh, the black and whites have been getting close up to this. It, I haven't heard if they've been pit authorized yet for it, but the speeds have not dropped down slow enough for them to even to try to get close enough to uh, attempt to try a pit maneuver at this point. Now coming up to uh, coming up to Woodruff here on Alondra Boulevard. Now taking a southbound turn, southbound turn here on Woodruff. You can see how close the PD ship got to the vehicle at that point, but then they weren't able to get close enough, and the speeds did not drop slow enough for them to try to attempt a pit maneuver there. But you can see they are staying right with it. It is reported uh, the ground units think there are two people in the vehicle, a driver and a passenger, but this is kind of a mid-size minivan here. We don't know the make yet, but once again, coming up, there on some slower traffic up ahead, and the vehicle's starting to slow down. You can see how close that unit's trying to get up to them. And then it's coming up to a red light up here. There's a traffic up ahead. Oh, now it's pulling right. It's coming to a stop here. We're on south, south, southbound Woodruff at Flora Vista here. Just kind of came to a stop uh, in the middle here. They did have a red light. They had some traffic up ahead. That at this point has cleared the intersection. You can see the police department has the entire intersection at this time. So, but now. Vehicles finally pulled over. Well, this is where the it's officers now are calling uh, calling them out to come and uh, get out of the vehicle. But so far, we haven't seen the driver's window come down yet. Uh, they usually have them uh, toss out the keys, turn off the ignition, toss out the keys. But so far, it looks like one hand kind of coming out of the window there. There go the keys. You can see the keys being tossed out of the vehicle at this point. Like I said. Dangerous at sometimes throughout this pursuit. Uh, speeds were up to about 90 miles an hour on the 91 freeway, but then just came to a stop here on Woodruff uh, near Flora Vista here. Well, this well, is where um, it becomes yeah. particularly dangerous. Unfortunately, we've seen this uh, scene so many times in Southern California that we probably know the routine by now. He comes out, his back to the officers, or have them kneel down. Uh, maybe lie down on the pavement while they approach him very cautiously. We're still waiting for a second person to come out of the vehicle. And sometimes um, it can be quite difficult, too, when the windows are tinted, right. which these appear to be. So you don't even know if possibly there are more people or, you know, even something potentially dangerous in the back of that van. Yeah, and you have to figure that uh, police officers everywhere have what happened in New York City right. today on, on their minds. Being particularly cautious. This is all part of so the. So they do have a canine unit standing by with them. You can see towards at the top of the screen there, there is a canine unit standing by. It looks like it's a female that got out of the vehicle at this point. Um, and they're trying to get a look. Like you said, those windows are tinted. They they thought they had a, a passenger in the vehicle as well. So we'll see if a second person comes out or not. But now they're pulling uh, pulling that first uh, the driver out of the vehicle and getting him in into a position. It looks like they're getting ready to clear the car or have that second person come out, but they are having a difficult time seeing because, like you said, those windows are tinted there. It looks like the passenger door is still closed, right? 
Can you tell from your angle? Yeah, the passenger uh, the passenger door uh, is still closed there. There's the canine officer still standing by with the uh, on that pad, kind of looking at that passenger side at this point. Were you able to see, Kevin, if there actually was a second person in the vehicle? Well, there is now a second person. They have yeah. the, having them slide over to the driver's door, having a person slide over to the driver's door and come out the driver door here. And where did we end up, Kevin? We ended up kind of in the um, this kind of the lawn, uh, laundry area, probably uh, more like uh, Lakewood here. We were southbound Woodruff, just north of the 91 freeway. It got off of the uh, it got off of the 605 at Alondra, then came southbound on Woodruff, came about a block or two, and then finally got out, and then just came to a stop here, right in the middle of the intersection. There was some traffic up ahead. Uh, but they uh, just stopped here in the middle of the intersection after leading police on a chase that lasted about 20 to 25 minutes on the freeways through Orange County. So we're looking at a female suspect and a male suspect now? It's hard it to tell. It's hard to tell at this point. It looked like um, they, they may, be, uh, may have been both, uh, both females, but right now uh, they're taking that second person into custody here. And uh, then officers will move up and clear the vehicle. And the initial call was that this was a stolen car. Do we know out of which community that was, Kevin? We don't know exactly where the vehicle was stolen out of. It was uh, possibly Buena Park Police Department that picked up the vehicle and then first tried to make a traffic stop on it, and they took off on them and then got on the 91 freeway. But we don't know. We haven't heard exactly which, uh, what city that the car may have been stolen out of. Well, it looks like this has come to a safe conclusion with at least two people in custody. Good thing they stop sooner than later because, you know, they never get away, right? And yeah, they're starting to make their approach to the vehicle to finish clearing it, making sure there's no one else inside the car. And this looks to be the last you step. You can see how, how difficult drive. it is there with the tinted windows. And they're holding up, uh, holding up their forefingers. They're calling it uh, code four, and that it's safe now. Everything is over. There is nobody else in the car at this point. All right, Kevin Dakumi and Skyfox, thanks very much. We'll be right back with weather after a break.